Our next guest in Gordon Street tonight won six WNBL championships in Australia, then moved to the States where she's been named the WNBA's most valuable player three times. She's also, she also has three Olympic silver medals plus gold at the Commonwealth Games and World Championships. She's quite simply one of the superstars of world basketball. Please welcome Lauren Jackson. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. You grew up in Albury, Wodonga? Yep, I sure did. Did being from the country shape your career? Definitely. Um, I think, you know, uh, everything's a little bit slower out there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I think uh, just that whole mentality of, you know, having to really work, you know, um, to get somewhere. And, I, you know, Albury's, for me, was the perfect place to grow up, so. What do you miss most about Australia? Because you've been in Seattle for how long now? Um, I've been in America for 11 years, so right. yeah, in Seattle. So it's been a, been a drawn out career, that's for sure. What do you miss most when you're away? Um, pretty much just everything. I mean, I think being overseas um, and then flying back into the country, I, you can't imagine how it feels being someone that just wishes they were home <laughs> constantly and then flying back in and, and wanting to be here. So just everything. I mean, the people, the lifestyle, um, yeah. Food? Food. Yep, meat pies. Really? Bloody oath. <laughs> Do you think Australians know how successful you are overseas? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it's a weird thing, isn't it? Because, I mean, you know, coming from the country, you've kind of got that hard work Australian attitude. But also, again, you don't really, you know, coming from Australia, you tend not to talk yourself up too much. But according to what I've read during the week, you are quite possibly the best women's basketballer in the world right now. I know you don't want to talk yourself up, but you are. You've, you've won, what, three MVPs in the States? Well, um, you know, there's so many other great players in the world, and um, I think just the fact that we have so many great sports stars that come from this country is a testament to who we are as a, you know, as people. So um, we've had a lot of very successful people in, you know, music, art, comedy um, and sport um, travel overseas and really, you know, put Australia on the map. So, um, you know, I just feel proud that I get to be one of those people. And is it true that you went to Seattle because of the music scene? <laughs> I got drafted to Seattle. Um, I think in my career I've had a lot of good fortune and I think being drafted to Seattle was one of those things. It's definitely, um, if there was anywhere to be overseas for me, um, Seattle's been perfect. And, you know, I love the grunge music. I love the music scene. I've been able to go and see The Waves, um, Tex Perkins, Paul Kelly, like so many um, Australian musicians. When you're playing, how physical does it get on court? Oh, it gets very physical. Um, it's a physical sport. What's the worst thing you've done to someone physically on court? Oh, look, I, I've got a teammate, um, Sue Bird. She's actually probably the best point guard in the world. And um, I broke her nose in a game. <laughs> I went up for a rebound. She's about this big and I'm, you know, massive. So I went up for a rebound and came down and didn't even see her. And then I fractured her cheek and... She, she came underneath my elbow as I was coming down and I swung and I hit her and I think that's the worst thing I've ever done to a teammate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then the opposition, yeah, there's been, some, there's been some shockers. Didn't you pull someone's hair extensions out? Intentionally? No. And I've already had to, you know, stick up for myself a thousand <laughs> times about this, but I did not do it intentionally. I didn't even know that women wore hair extensions in basketball games. <laughs> it's a sport. Maybe netball, but not basketball. <laughs> and it was actually a lighter moment in the game because normally I'm so intense and everyone is and all of a sudden this hair extension fell on the floor and everyone was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So when, when you, I mean, you must have been tall uh, as a teenager when you were at school. Yeah. Were you bullied? Were you... Yeah, nah, no. Nah. I mean, I was, but it wasn't anything, you know, that I couldn't handle. I was so consumed with sport um, when I was young that, I don't know, I just had this driving force and I always thought that... Um, I could get through anything, and I did. I mean, you know, kids can be quite cruel, and I was cruel too. Do you think sometimes being bullied a little bit at school actually makes you a little bit stronger later on? Oh, absolutely. I think, well, I think every child actually has to go through it at some point. And um, it's, it's definitely not nice, and I'm totally, you know, against it. Mm. But 
um, what can you do? I mean, you just got to sort of take it on the chin and move Rip on. Rip their extensions out. Rip their <laughs> extensions out. <laughs> Were you picked on at school? Ah, uh, yeah. I was actually tall at school. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was average. I was average because everyone was about five foot seven when I was young. Right. And that was uh, normal. And then as I got older, suddenly I turned into a short guy. <laughs> Red Baron, that was my nickname. Red Baron? Did you have a tall kind of cutting nickname? Um, yeah, I did. It was Chicken Legs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was walking down Dean Street in Albury, the main street, not long ago, and someone yelled out from a passing car, Chicken Legs! <laughs> I was like, nothing's changed. This is <laughs> hey. Have the people of Albury, do they celebrate you when you go home? Yeah, absolutely. Um, people have just been so wonderful there and supportive and, um, you know, I want to move back there very soon and sort of start a family of my own and do all that sort of stuff. So I'm looking forward to, you know, my retirement and being able to do that. Wasn't there talk of, like, naming a stadium after you or something? Um, yeah, I think it was thrown out um, in, like, discussion. I, I really don't know what it was about. Whether it happens or not, I don't know, but... Uh, and I don't really expect that. But see, again, that's the thing. Of, like, if you're in the States, you'd be going, well, yeah, hey, why... No, you know. no sorry, if you're American, you might be... You'd be oh, going, I don't know. Why is anyone naming a stadium after me? But it's that Australian thing of going, no, I don't want to talk myself up. But Australians are happy to talk somebody else up. So I'm going to say right now, for the love of God, people in Albury, <laughs> name something after this woman. No. <laughs> That'd be good. I'd love to go to a stadium that's called Chicken Legs. <laughs> Would you please thank Lauren Jackson? <laughs>